Christine, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. You might know that you're a Virgo, mm -hmm. right? But that really means that the sun was in Virgo when you were born. There are other planets, as in fact, all of them are also in front of the zodiac. So if I say to you, your moon is in Sagittarius, well, you might not exactly know what that means. I'm gonna explain it to you, but you'll be able to at least hear, oh, I have a little Sagittarius in my chart. Okay. You're not just a Virgo. <laughs> You've got so many planets in Virgo. It's unbelievable, and you have Gemini rising. Mm -hmm. So between Virgo and Gemini, that's a lot going on in your head. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you ever shut it off? No. No, I don't right? Think I am ever without a thought. I was the first thing I thought when I looked at your chart. I was like, oh my God, she's got a busy mind. Mm -hmm. The the Virgo in your chart is actually in the fourth house, which is the house of home. You probably keep your house pretty organized and tidy. If you're living that Virgo kind of experience, you, you might really want to keep things clean. But it talks also about the lessons that you have about family and home and wanting to own a home it seems very strong in your chart to want to be a home owner. Mm -hmm. You're not a homeowner yet. No. But do you think about that? Oh yeah, the big dream. As somebody who has so much Virgo in your chart, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of self-judgment or a lot of even external judgment of other people like where you're like constantly evaluating. Do you feel like even at the young age that you are that you've gotten somewhat of a handle on judging yourself and others or being too hard on yourself? I am the most self-critical person I know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You're probably the most self-critical person that I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll find I think the healing to that self-criticism in recognizing your connection to family. You know, it's interesting about your house of relationships and it says that you're actually going to meet someone through work. That's says, how I usually do. Right now is a time when um, someone could show up and they're going to be outside of the customary people that you're normally meeting. Like, you're really gonna be like, wow, a little shook up. It's almost like a sweep you off your feet kind of feeling, but um, not because it's the person that normally does that to you. So, you know, there's an expression, you've got to kiss a lot of frogs to find the Prince Charming. There's a reason for that expression. It's because some of the magic's in that kiss. So you never really know what you're gonna get mm -hmm. until you get close enough to it to find out. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank you, I enjoyed it.